Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fully Gooly episode number three. Um, okay, now uh, I apologize for the previous week. I was unable to put out a video because I was a little bit busy, but I think I can continue putting out uh, weekly videos after today. So I hope, hopefully I'll be able to put out, uh, like, you know, next week I'll also be able to put out Fully Gooly again. So yeah, I apologize for the previous week. So anyways, okay, um, the previous episode, that is episode number two, we met uh, Kanti, which was named by uh, Mamimi to that robot that we saw. And she named it uh, because of some character in her game, I think. And that's why she named it Kanti. And like, you know, we saw the robot kind of going to the site of the, you know, the, 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 the burnt down site where, um, uh what was the guy's name uh now now that wasn't it yeah now or now though i forgot his name anyways um like you know his brother and mommy me all of them met for the first time and we see Kanti going there kind of like you know like all the stuff were happening and there's a few stuff that i wasn't able to understand but i as i said like you know uh, i think fully coolie is an is a show which actually you know doesn't need that much understanding you just roll with it <laughs> that's just fully coolie i guess so all this stuff were happening and then uh, another weird thing happened where we see uh, naoto he fused with kanti and you know like kanti's color became red and he becomes very strong and like you know like stuff happened so we don't have an explanation for that and i don't know if we're ever going to get an explanation about that but let's check out this episode and let's see if we can actually get some explanation or it is kept that way so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number three of fully coolie i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <sighs> Who's this? Is this the mom? What? Wait, who's this? Who is it? That's not mommy me. Is that? Am I going crazy? I'm not able to recognize the girl. Who was that? Was that mommy me? Okay, let's wait for it. Oh my god, Haruko is doing something. <laughs> what is she doing? What? Mid. <laughs> nice. Wow, she has good flexibility in her leg. Who? Oh, okay. The dad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know, not going anywhere. Um, he has to do that because, uh, <laughs> Canty is doing his thing. Okay, that was some reference. What, what is she even? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is the other girl. This is not Mami. Uh, I forgot her for a second there. The rep yeah, this is the other girl. <laughs> Doesn't look good. What is that? My god, calm down. What is that even? Is that like some kind of a... Okay, I understand what that is. Some kind of dojin, I think. Okay. <laughs> Talking cat. <laughs> oh my god hmm. Okay. Oh, whoa, oh, what the? Oh, that's why he was wearing. The... Okay. What the? Is that a dog? Oh my God, she's here. I don't think so. Oh, oh no, she, he's the one who's... <laughs> Doraemon. Yeah, true. There's a cat. He kind of fused with it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Poor canting. Um. <laughs> oh, my God, this is even more an apron. That's nice. Oh, this is a... Uh... What the? Oh, is this a... Uh... Oh. Sick. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Wow, this this show is crazy. Use the scat. What should <laughs> Oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
well, we have a... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, mommy me? Or Haruko? Oh, Haruko. <laughs> my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, it again crashed with him. Oh no. Um, what's happening here? <laughs> well, even though this is an anime, it, all the time stuff doesn't happen like that. Oh no, he, he crashed with... <laughs> well, there you go, there's your cat. <laughs> what kind? <laughs> oh no, what's happening? Something must have happened. Like, you know, they, they crashed heads. Yeah, yeah, it is. Kind of. What? The? Are they eating curry? Or yeah, I think so. Spicy curry. <laughs> yeah, I am impressed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn. It looks like poop <laughs> in his plate. <laughs> wow. Where does it even go? It's our <laughs> Wow. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> <Rare> open. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hospital this. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, he, she really has had, is having problems in her house, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he just doesn't want any problems. Uh, no, don't do that. Yeah. It'll be a bigger problem. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. After effect. I think it is an after effect to be honest. What the? Okay, so she is going to stay here. Yeah, you're kind of acting like one. Oh my god. Wait, is he talking with Kanti? How is he talking with him? <laughs> oh, the cat here. Oh, 
اه ترى Oh my god. Okay. What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Cosplay. <laughs> because you're a cat. At least for now. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's the lead. Tricks the princess to be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Articles just sitting. <laughs> oh. Betting the years. <laughs> oh my god. The cat is like, why are you not betting me? Um what the <laughs> the way a rat oh my god Nina Mori Chu Chu <laughs> Mm. Don't, oh no, is she going to? Oh no. Just just cosplay. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Oh no, it's happening again. The the whole thing. Oh yeah, okay, whenever that happens, like, you know. Oh. Whoa, what the? Wait, what? Oh, that was not... Yes. Oh my god, it's another robot popping out. Kanti, we need you. Oh! My God! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, Haruko. <laughs> okay, let's suck. Wow. There you go. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> no one's listening. Oh my. Wow. Okay, there she is. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. I think so, at least. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Damn. All right, Kanti's here. Oh. Oh. Don't fall. Okay, there you go. Oh, the food. Oh no, the food. Oh, it's very spicy, so... <sighs> Poor me, as in. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, Kanti. Let's go. Transformation. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoop. There you go. Lured him in in front of Kanti. There you go. Like, I'm s seeing a pattern here, like, whenever something happens in that, that teapot thing, <laughs> you know, like, something happens with, um, wasn't prosecuted. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You. Oh, she's wearing her glasses. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was good. Um. So. So as I was saying, so there's like a connection I think that's happening with uh, that that facility where the robots are made, the medical robots or whatever they're called, and like you know whatever happens with Naoto, and if he somehow like bumps head with someone or like you know like something happens, like I guess all of those are connected somehow. <clears throat> so yeah, like. Like, that's the only information we have. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. We kind of get a like a like a, a different character in this episode who what was her name nishimori i think that was her name something like that so we get her story in this episode and how okay i'm going to talk about it after the ending finishes All right, that's the end, I think.
Okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so um, yeah, one thing that we were seeing here is how. Okay, uh, where is it? <clears throat> okay, that section where we see um, her. Just a sec, where is that? Uh, glasses okay now here's one thing that um i don't know like it's kind of giving me uh like a little making me a little like you know giving a little confusion here which is we see her in the room like you know like wearing the glasses and when uh naoto says that uh oh glasses when we i've never seen you wearing glasses and she's like oh i've always been wearing contacts this is just a secret between you and me and uh, then in the end we see that she is you know like in, in participating on stage with the glasses and now that's like oh she finally that means she's comfortable in showing you know the things that she actually hid within her she didn't want others to know that thing she's she's showing that in front of everyone she's comfortable with that but then she kind of shows that oh this is just fake glasses so so i think that means like like she's just wearing that for the play it's not that she is showing like you know like the, the thing that she kept secret is still a secret it's just that for the play she's wearing her fake glasses while, while still wearing the contacts and i think that was what they were actually trying to show us in the end where it it is still a little secret between them now here's one thing i think that this is one thing i've i've kind of been i don't know getting this feeling from the first episode we we saw her in the first episode as well i think and probably also in the second episode a little bit that i think this this guy this girl actually likes naoto i think that's probably let me just like what was her name um Nishimori or something like that? Let me just check her name. Uh, mm, Ninamori. Oh, not Nishimori. Ninamori. Ninamori Eri. Okay, so yeah, like I've been kind of getting that feeling from the beginning, like, you know, of this show. And, you know, like the way she, like this, this episode kind of, um, uh, I don't know, like made it more apparent, I think. And, like, you know like uh, the, the scene where she kind of gets angry at um uh naoto well, when she heard that uh, haruka has been like, you know living with him from from the from the start and <clears throat> you know like all that and I, I think like you know that's probably also the reason why she rigged the votes because you know like he was the cat and he would be playing the role of the cat and um naoto would be the uh Naoto would be the catch and she'll be the main character <clears throat> okay now here's one thing the reason why she rigged the votes uh when Naoto asks that like you wanted to play the lead bad enough to do that and she says that but you know how I feel right Puss and Boots tricks the princess to be happy tricks the princess to be happy he hides his identity and pretends to be a marquis for the rest of his life but this lie eventually becomes the truth that's the good thing right and haruko says is that good <laughs> and you will listen to us not really i don't care if you cheated to get the lead or anything like that okay that's pretty smart blackmailing him about the secret to keep him to do the play no one's been hurt by it <clears throat> it's not nice to trick people honest people on okay anyways uh, so yeah the thing that she was saying like you know like tricking like i feel like there's like a like you know there's like a huge sim not symbolism but like a hidden meaning behind her words here where like you know like I, I think she she's actually like you know she she also wants to be like in a way 
tricked to be happy because her like you know all the things that were happening in her life at that moment were were pretty bad you know like the whole thing with his with her dad and you know like the, the prospect of like you know like everyone knowing that yeah this the scandal has happened like everyone knows what's happening you know like the prospect of them also getting a divorce the mom and the dad all these stuff were kind of very much bothering him her and the reporters like were not like you know helping that as well so <clears throat> that's why like you know like this this weird and bad situation she she feels as if like you know like if Naoto becomes you know becomes plays the role of a cat uh, just like how in in the play the cat actually tricks uh, the princess I think so yeah to um, tricks her into like you know like and into making her happy and as like according to her according to the play I don't know the play that what she's talking about but according to her as she explained the plot like she keeps like you know the the cat keeps playing that like you know role and eventually it becomes true and everyone becomes happy so like like obviously because i think she probably likes Naoto and because of that she actually rigged the votes and you know when like bad stuff is happening to her so she rigged the votes and made as if you know so that Naoto can become the cat because she likes him and she would actually want to be tricked you know to become happy or something like that you know like this is like a thing this is like in a simple words he, he was basically trying to kind of look the other way from all the bad things that are happening you know uh she 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 was kind of doing that and like you know like she she actually thought that yeah like like you know like if now to plays the role and i probably will be have able to have a good like you know a good time and have a good like, you know the play will be good and i'll enjoy myself and you know like that's that's probably why she like you know she she kind of did that i think and but in a way as i said like in in, a, in short she was basically kind of trying to like you know not look at the bad side of the things and like you know be tricked by something completely different and keep her mind off all those bad things i think that's what she she's actually trying to do i might be wrong though because like you know a lot of things in this show is actually like filled with symbolism and um you know you basically have to guess stuff in a way and understand like, read between the lines you have to do that here and you know yeah but okay so okay first of all okay the first lady that was i think that was the lawyer at, at the beginning i thought that was the mom you know and then i realized that was not the mom that was the lawyer or something most probably because now that i see about like at, at the beginning episode really seemed like i wasn't able to understand the beginning theme of the episode like where she suddenly says that um she says that you listened very calmly the mayor was worried about you you know um the whole things between the two of them anyway and she says i'm impressed when I was your age, I wasn't as mature. Both say they wanted a divorce, so there's nothing I can do about it. Now that I'm seeing this for, again, like I can understand what they're saying. Like at the beginning, I was really unable to understand what the hell was happening. You know, because I thought that this, this girl lady was the mom at the beginning. But then later on, I realized that was not the mom, that was someone else. And she, okay, she says that you sure understand the way situation very well, but don't worry. I want to do anything to ruin her father's reputation. Oh, or maybe she's a reporter or something. I don't know. I'm not worried. Oh no, she's the assistant. I think. L let me check. Okay. Um. Yeah, she says Hisho-san. I think uh, that that actually means that. Um, uh, assistant you know like so i'm guessing like uh, assistant on the secretary like probably like the dad's secretary or like personal assistant or something like that you slept over last night but put on a different suit for today that's very observant of you okay that was that and All right, another thing, uh, uh, 
part of this episode that I was again confused about is where is that? Like when all the reporters were like, you know, like doing stuff in you kind know, of were kind of crowding in front of her house. Like the reporters are all in front of the house. Yeah, they're, they're calling the secretary. That is the secretary. And the secretary is like hiding. And it's like over there, I see her. I see you're good at running away too. That's because I'm a grown up. Okay. So, anyways, um, so yeah, that was basically what's happening. And now, okay, one thing I, I, I think they're not, imp I, I think they're kind of implying that. Mm. What is the scandal actually about? I think it's probably that like some kind of infidelity. Is that what's happening here? Because I think that's they're kind of hinting that like, you know, with the secretary and everything and the whole thing with the divorce, I think that's what's happening. And that's probably why, you know, like the, like the media is like trying to find the secretary and like that's why like you know the moment that like dad like was wanting divorce or something i think that's what's probably happening and i don't i, th I think they never really mentioned that in this episode did they like what the actual scandal was did yeah i don't think they mentioned that at all and i think it's basically just kind of hinted so okay and in the end we also get a little update on what happened uh you know where everything kind of Okay, Niamor said that she didn't care. Okay, just a sec, where is it? Yeah, but then she smiled. Um, there was a rumor she was going to change schools, but she's still here. Okay, anyways, I'm, I'm unable to find that portion. But yeah, like, <coughs> so, <coughs> yeah, I think that was what's happening. So the whole scandal was probably like implied to be like some kind of, uh, like you know maybe the dad cheated or something and you know like <laughs> since he's the mayor um i don't know i might be wrong though you know like this is just me guessing this whole situation I'm, I'm not even sure if they actually mentioned the scandal what actually happened why everyone was so <clears throat> you know but yeah so like probably that's what happened that's why the whole divorce thing came up and you know like she said that yeah i don't care about mom and dad that's their decision whatever they want to do but you know because of the reporters and stuff she was very troubled she was just you know kind of going around like you know walking around places and then he she made an auto <clears throat> and okay so yeah as i was saying so yeah that's why they, like you know she was kind of like going around like you know places didn't go back to her house and then she meets naoto meets haruko she goes accompanies them to her their house and kind of stays there and now oh and also figures out the the year thing and uh she like you know like haruko also crashes the bike in <laughs> naoto again naoto crashes with um nina mori that was the name yeah nina mori and you know like something happens that the way it usually does like you know like like whenever the like flash heads and something and whenever like you know the bike kind of hits Naoto's head something happens I'm still not sure about what the actual thing that happens but something happens after that which is the whole thing with the robot coming out but yeah that was that like they come to their house and then they talk about the whole voting thing and how like you know like she wants to be tricked and like Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, I think I, I can, can probably understand what she was actually trying to do here. Um, it's kind of a little bit difficult to actually, like, you know, I don't know. I, like, I at least felt a little bit difficult to realize this. But she says that, yeah, she doesn't care what happens to the mom and dad. They're divorcing. That's their thing, you know, their decision, whatever. So she doesn't care. She kind of says it that way. And, like, you know, that I think that is, like, kind of like a symbolism of her pretending to be like you know okay in front of everyone like you know pretending to have a rough and tough exterior while she's kind of hurting inside and that is kind of symbolic to the whole thing with the glasses you know while like you know that she kind of hides the glasses and always wear contacts in front of everyone else but in front of Naoto where she's able to like you know like become herself again you know show her weakness she puts on the glasses and that's why she says this is a secret so this is like a symbolism i think a parallel here which we can see 
where she actually acts like nothing is matter but she's still in her inside she does not like the fact that their parents are going to get divorced and she does not like the whole situation while but she's in, like you know in front she's acting as if nothing is the matter she's trying to act strong so i think this is like a very well done symbolic parallel or something like that i think so at least and like you know that was what was happening so you know like that's why she kind of even though she's acting as if nothing is the matter in the inside she's kind of thinking about what to do about the situation so what she does is she actually kind of thinks of naoto as like the like you know the, the cat in the in the story where the cat actually as she says like you know the cat actually uh, uh, imitates a role and like you know kind of pretends to be someone and tricks the princess to make her happy the princess is happy but the cat keeps tricking her and by the end of it uh, everything kind of works out well and everything is happy the 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 false cities that the cat like you know did the way he, he tricked the princess it kind of came up uh, become came coming up uh, it kind of became true in the end and everything was happy it was a happy ending so like since you know like now to, for her is like the person who she can share everything with in a way i guess you know because she was she sh shared the whole situation of the like, you know uh, the, the classes as i said like you know that's probably her confiding in naoto and you know like her showing her weakness to him that's why she kind of picked him as the main character of not the main character but the main supporting character you know the cat so and she being the main character that's why she rigged the whole thing and that that also as i said that also probably shows that she likes naoto in some way and <clears throat> You know that's why she like you know she kind of thought that yeah Naoto will be here with me and like you know like like since she, he's the only one who she kind of confides in she she decided to kind of rig the votes and at the same time she thought that okay like if this um play becomes successful maybe maybe mom and dad will come and watch this and maybe everything will be fine even though even though in, in in the outside she's showing that she doesn't care as i said in the inside she she wants everything to go well so that was like her whole plan i think you know and that's why you know she she wanted the play to be successful so much because in the end when we see like you know now to saying that oh i won't play like you know the cat role she's like don't you go anywhere like you will have to play this role with me and i want this like you know this this play to be the best and you know there's like this whole like you know con confrontation happening and <clears throat> you know like then like kind of like you know like um <laughs> she, she pulls off naoto's hats the cat ear comes out and then naoto also kind of like says that oh you rigged the whole voting system and you know like and then something happens in the, that facility and again weird thing starts happening as usual like you know robot pops out of uh, of uh what's her name uh, now uh nina mori and yeah then obviously kanti and you know like haruko comes to rescue them and kanti again fuses with naoto and they beat the uh the robot that was kind of on top of nina mori's head and the curry actually helped <laughs> so yeah and then in the end we kind of see that you know like she says like it seems as if she is comfortable in showing everyone that like you know the glasses and as i said the glasses is like a symbolism i think of her secret which she is like you know she, like the things that she hides within her and like you know the ending kind of showed that she's wearing the glasses and naoto thought that okay so maybe she's comfortable now but then she's like no this is just fake you know like as usual i'm wearing my contacts and this is just like you know like a prop for the play and that that's probably also shows that that's her way of telling that this whole glass thing is our secret and you know like that kind of like an emotional bond with him i guess i don't know maybe i'm just looking too much into this but i think that's probably what was going on in this episode this episode was kind of you know like a lot of things you have to kind of like you know 
guess and understand in your own way interpret it in your own way especially the whole scandal thing that happened and in the end like everything worked out well as they said that yeah like the, the divorce did not happen everything was okay and she was not transferred off to some other school so yeah all wells all uh, all's well that end, ends well so yeah anyways like as i said like everything that i said is like my speculations my guesswork and uh like i know that <laughs> fully coolie is something that you should not take too seriously like everything that's happening is kind of like you know <laughs> weird stuff are happening and i'm sure there's like a lot of things won't even have any explanations but still like you know i kind of like actually <laughs> like sitting down and thinking about these type of things and actually trying to find if there is some kind of connection with something some kind of symbolism and stuff and yeah this is just how i interpreted this episode you know this is just like you know nina mori's um like you know like a whole like, what do you call it the front that she puts up in front of people you know it's just a sim symbolic representation of that how we see this you know like well she acts like yeah i don't care but in the end inside she really does care about stuff and that's why she was actually trying to make the play good so that the mom and dad you know like if they come together to watch this maybe maybe you know like something will happen and they will decide not to get the divorce and maybe they'll be you know the you know like everything will be okay like that was her way of thinking this and as a as a kid you know like like she, she's only able to do this much like what else can she do you know like if your mom and dad are fighting and just they're thinking about taking making like you know uh going through a divorce like this is just her way of actually thinking that yeah might this might patch it up and thankfully by the end of it everything kind of worked out well and yeah so yeah as i said like this is like the way i interpreted this episode and yeah so anyways that was it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to fully coolie episode number three if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fully coolie until then goodbye and have a nice day